we will now discuss the reasons for release of carbon dioxide. Reasons for release of carbon dioxide. There are three important factors which are considered responsible for this release. The first one is known as Heldens effect. Now, what exactly is this effect? We need to understand. And to understand this, first we'll write down only the important points and then we'll see how uh, those points can be understood. Heldens effect says that as more and more oxyhemoglobin is formed, it is responsible for release of carbon dioxide. More concentration of oxyhemoglobin is responsible. Now why this oxyhemoglobin is responsible is that it acts as a strong acid. Oxyhemoglobin acts as a strong acid. And we know that acids release H plus ions or protons. It is a strong acid because it is going to release H plus. So now what is happening is as oxygen combines with hemoglobin, more and more oxyhemoglobin is formed. At the same time, H plus ions are also released because it is acting as an acid. This H plus so now the next point says that H plus combines with bicarbonates, bicarbonate ions. If you are able to recall, maximum carbon dioxide is transported as bicarbonate ions. So when H plus combines with this bicarbonate ions, the reaction would be H plus plus HCO3 and that would give us carbonic acid and this carbonic acid dissociates in presence of the same enzyme that is carbonic anhydrase. So carbonic acid dissociates, enzyme is carbonic anhydrase. And when this dissociates, water and carbon dioxide is released. And this carbon dioxide is then exhaled. So, Heldens effect says that release of carbon dioxide is due to formation of more and more oxyhemoglobin. This is the actual explanation of Heldens effect. But, if you want to understand it in the manner which we studied, the gases get transported, we will draw only this much part. Here is the alveolar exchange or the gaseous exchange at the lung level. We said oxygen diffuses in from higher partial pressure that is in the alveolar air to the blood because the blood which is coming here is deoxygenated blood. And when oxygen comes here, it is oxygen that binds with hemoglobin. And the same reaction, when oxygen binds with hemoglobin, at the same time, H plus ions are also released. And what is coming along with deoxygenated blood are bicarbonate ions. So these bicarbonate ions would combine with this proton and we would get H2CO3 which dissociates into H2O plus carbon dioxide and it is the same carbon dioxide which is going out. So Heldens effect is considering or Heldens says that more and more oxyhemoglobin form that means more and more oxygen coming in binding with hemoglobin is responsible for this release of carbon dioxide. Now the same thing we have already studied that deoxygenated blood comes up to the lungs. Exchange takes place. Oxygen from air, alveolar air comes here. Oxyhemoglobin is formed. Oxyhemoglobin plus this protons. These two things are formed here in the blood. 
As soon as these protons are released, bicarbonate ions bind with them. Carbonic acid is formed. It dissociates, same enzyme with the reaction which we have written here. Dissociates to form water and carbon dioxide. And this is how this carbon dioxide is released. And it is present in the exhaled air. This is the most important reason for release of carbon dioxide. The second reason for release is high PO2, high partial pressure of oxygen is responsible or it, it causes, causes dissociation of car amino hemoglobin. So one structure or one molecule which is coming here is in the form of iron, that is bicarbonate ion. The other thing or other form in which carbon dioxide is coming here is carbamino hemoglobin. So as oxygen diffuses in, in this oxygenated blood, PO2 is high. So as PO2 increases, the carb amino hemoglobin which is coming here, it is going to dissociate. So this is one or this is another reason why carbon dioxide is released. And third, carbon dioxide is less soluble in atrial blood. In atrial blood. That means atrial and venous is totally dependent on how much oxygen is there. So the blood which is coming here is the venous blood. It is deoxygenated though we know that this blood also has some oxygen dissolved in it. But more and more oxygen coming in we call it ven uh, sorry, atrial blood. So carbon dioxide here the blood becomes atrial that means it is oxygenated and less and less carbon dioxide is dissolved or gets dissolved in it. So three reasons responsible for release of carbon dioxide and the most important one is the Heldens effect which is due to more and more oxyhemoglobin. So this is how this carbon dioxide gets released and we exhale it.